so strange. It seems like Asta and Arlen are in trouble. Still, it all sounds like hearsay to me. Better keep them in the dark for now. Himiko seems to be on good terms with the folks in the space station. Maybe I should tell her first. be difficult for Asta. Being the lead researcher isn't easy. As soon as the Legion exits stage right, in comes the gossip. How does that saying go again? Greet enemies outside with a smile, greet enemies inside with a sword. Such is the Herda company culture. What do you mean? This is such an intra- uh, inconvenient situation. Are you thinking of getting involved? Well, while these rumors have nothing to do with us, they do concern the reputation of young Asta. And turning a blind eye is not the way of the nameless. Solving a matter like this won't be difficult. Predictably, the crowd cares more about the drama than the facts. Stopping the rumors from brewing is more important right now than laying out the truth. And it's better to unearth the source of the rumors directly than to painstakingly try to refute them one by one. <laughs> You're a smooth talker. I have a friend. They say there isn't a single piece of station gossip she doesn't know about. First of all, it's not me. Secondly, I don't make friends just for the sake of gossip. It's just that my friend is pretty amazing, and I think you might be able to extract some information from her. Let's see, right now she's probably slacking off somewhere outside the department. I don't know her real name, but she calls herself Gossip Monger. It's getting late. Where to now? I can't see anyone slacking off. Maybe Gossip Monger isn't around? The rumors are already circulating. Let's gather some intel first. Why are you still here? Didn't your department call you to prepare for the emergency operation? Uh, no. 
I just sneaked out for a little while. What are the odds? I got a group message two minutes ago saying that something's happened in the special purpose lab. Somebody's trapped. The security department's blocked off the area around the entrance. The special purpose lab? Then wouldn't Pamela, I, I mean gossip monger, be... Most likely. No wonder she's not here right now. Walkways around the special purpose lab have been temporarily closed off. Please keep your distance. I'm afraid this is a live situation. It's too dangerous. Wait. Brother Arlen told me about you. If you insist on going, then I wish you the best of luck. Be safe. Walkways around the special purpose lab have been temporarily closed off. Please keep your distance. I'm afraid this is a live situ- Wait. Arlen's friend. The security department received information about sightings of Legion remnants in the vicinity. However, we just confirmed that there are monsters here that have never been seen before. The security department sectioned off the area immediately, but we lost contact with some people. Did Arlen ask you to investigate? Great, I I've made some new discoveries. Did you see it? Look. It seems like the rumors about the station are true. There are Stellaron traces here. Good luck figuring that out. All I know is that monsters have destroyed the power supply installations here. The elevator is out of commission, so the people stuck on the floor below can't make it up. Maybe you can help us restart the central elevator? There are plenty of backup power sources in the storage zone. Right opposite, if I remember right. As soon as we can restart the power supply, we can get this elevator working and rescue everyone. A 
gift from the stock. There's always a weakness. Evil doer. Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secret to the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Naughty children, don't listen. Nap time. Inviting you. Who's the lucky one today? <laughs> Much better. Evil doer. Let's go. A guest with no ma- <laughs> Stars will always remember us. Take more than savor the vigor of life. <laughs> A delicate operation. Keep at it. Ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secret to the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them! You'll pay for this. <clears throat> Let's make it quick. What about this? Reach the end of the story in your own way. Show your courage. you. Who's the lucky one today? Evil doer. 
just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Assistance is timely. <laughs> time for a shot. Here comes the medicine. Much better. This battle is unavoidable. <clears throat> Let's go. Batter up! <laughs> a gift from the stars! <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. <laughs> Much better. We shall take back what we lost. Well, did you find the backup power source? <sighs> Thank goodness you're here. Give me a moment. I'll give the elevator a little shake up. All right, you can use it now. Be safe. monster over there we we didn't dare to go over on our own please save her we'll, we'll take the elevator up please Take more than medicine. Nap time. <clears throat> Let's make it quick. Yeah! Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! A guest with no manners, huh? <laughs> A gift from the stars! We shall take back what we lost. Oh! Oh! Holy mackerel, you scared the stars out of me! You took your time! <clears throat> That's right. I'm the one you're looking for. Of course! Not only did I know you were coming, but I also know why. <laughs> you want to know who Richard Know-It-All from the Heritor Group is, don't you? Fans of Madame Herta, they call themselves the Heritors. I'm a businesswoman, and we play by our own rules. If you want the scoop, you have to pay the price. <laughs> Certainly not. I have a very clear notion of how much different favors cost. I don't have any particular hobbies. <laughs> I do indulge in a little tittle-tattling here and there, not to mention admiring of a certain scientist. And now here you are, vanquishing monsters left, right, and center. I heard you're with the Astral Express. <laughs> How fortunate. As it happens, I'm a huge fan of Himiko. An amalgamation of beauty and brains. The epitome of a graceful and gentle... 
scientist. <laughs> Can you help me take a high-def portrait photo of Himiko smiling, please? Uh, make sure you capture her electrifying smile. The one that stuns people into a trance. That million-volt smile. Well, what's the matter? You know Himiko well, right? If you ask her, I'm sure she'll say yes. A superbly beautiful, dazzling, electrifying portrait shot of Himiko in exchange for the secret behind Richard Know-It-All. Send the picture over when you have it. I'm always fair when it comes to haggling. Did you find Gossip Monger? What did she say? <laughs> I knew she was weird. Uh, there are many types of friend. She's the type you can only stay friends with if you never meet her. It's okay. It's just a picture. I don't mind. Go ahead. Let me see. Hey, you're pretty good. Huh? What are you taking pictures of? Why do you sound so nervous all of a sudden? Suspicious. I didn't expect to see you here. Didn't you say you were really busy? <sighs> I am. The Legion has only just retreated. The station is in absolute shambles. Now any progress in rebuilding things has been ruined by the reappearance of the Fragmentum. Oh. An act of Stellaron is rarely a cause for celebration. What did Herta say about the Fragmentum's appearance? <laughs> you know what she's like. It's like nothing's happened. She's just sitting back and giving orders. If there's time later, I want to talk to you both in more detail about this. You're the Fragmentum experts, after all. Anytime. Uh, I need to go. Someone's taken my family encryption key. You know, the one I used to withdraw my allowance? I need to get to the bottom of it.
that might be the whistleblower's so-called evidence. Looks like you don't have much time to lose. doesn't fit Gossip Monger's descriptions. She said, a young man with black-rimmed glasses and a slanted fringe. Doesn't fit Gossip Monger's descriptions. She said, a young man with black-rimmed glasses and a slanted fringe. You are? And you are? Oh, well done. You found me. So, you're here about the lead researcher's corruption. Anything for a good story, huh? I don't get it. You people live your lives for gossip. Wouldn't it be better to apply that drive to your research? Madam Herta would be delighted to see everyone working so hard. What encryption key? Have you been reading too many novels? You think there's some hidden air on this space station with keys to the family coffers? Less fantasizing, more researching. You got it? All right, you want the scoop? Fine. I've backed it all up anyway. Here, take it. And let it be known that I, Richard Know-It-All, do not spread rumors. This is the receipt. See the title on this purchase order? That's what I call substantive evidence. <laughs> of course it is. If I had any doubt, I'd have kept it quiet. I had picked it up a few days ago when I was collecting a package. I saw a few receipts requiring the lead researcher's signature. The security department's head honcho, Arlen, he left pretty quickly when he saw him. We all know he's on her side anyway. So I had a peek, and whoa, she's buying equipment for the space station under her own name. <laughs> I've got her now. Jeez, oh, do I really have to break it down for you? The space station has its own financial procedures. As long as the purchase is for the space station, no matter how big or small, 
it has to go through the organizational account using the station's allocated funds. The payer here is her private account. She's totally embezzling station funds for herself. I'm so disappointed, so hurt. She looks like a sweet enough girl, but not only did she fail to repay Madame Herta for promoting her, she even stooped to this. I was so angry, I was shaking. I broke out in a cold sweat. That amount of money? Herself? Who do you think she is? Fleming's daughter? Anyway, now you know everything, so leave me alone. I still need to write a report about this for Madame Herta. Seems like it's all just a scare. But it's easy to make rumors and hard to dispel them. I better let Asta know.
You can't waste money like this. This isn't wasting money. The IPC's budget is so stringent and, oh, the process takes so long. By the time my application would have gone through, too much time would have been wasted. Do you know how much hardware was destroyed when the Legion attacked? And how many cables are currently out of order on the station? How is it my fault when I'm spending my own money to solve everyone else's problems? Give my encryption key back. I won't. You, who gave you the right to tell me what to do with my money? You did. I, I, well, I might have done that, but this doesn't count as wasting money. Uh, how is it not wasting money? We lost that Finey device you bought during the Legion's invasion. All you had to do was check the inventory and we could have replaced it. Why did you make a new order? And that Star Knot fleet from the last time? I did make an order, but it didn't go through. I was just trying to improve security measures to make sure attacks like this don't happen again. It, if the money wasn't spent, then it doesn't count. Anyway... Whew. Are you here for something? Ugh, please, tell me why you're here. So, you think Richard was the one who stole my encryption key. So, he was the one who started the rumors. Huh, that fits. It feels like she's not surprised. I'll deal with that immediately. Please don't worry, Miss Asta. Yeah, go, go. Uh, wait. Leave the encryption key here. Uh, that's a separate issue. We'll talk about the encryption key later. Uh, how can you... If a space telescope were deployed at this location on the Express, it would almost certainly be possible to observe shorter wavelengths. Hmm, feels like a good angle. Of course not. I'm here on your invitation, isn't that right? That's why I went into vacation mode the second I boarded the Express. Thesis topics don't unearth themselves, you know. Well, of course, there are other things in life, too. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Well, I've been on the Express before, but this is my first visit with you on board. Looking forward to it. 